Hi there, this is Ranjit and welcome to the uh, tech Q&A session where I'll be answering some of your tech related questions. And as you can see, I'm not in my office. I'm actually outdoors out of town for some work, but I just wanted to shoot this uh, Q&A for you guys. And by the way, this uh, Q&A is brought to you by Lenovo ZUK. And uh, I've got already quite a bunch of questions that I asked via Twitter. Uh, just you can use the hashtag ask uh, geeky ranji and ask me the questions and i've already got some great questions so let's start uh, this uh, q a and again guys uh, bear with the audio it might not be that crisp because i'm unable to use my professional mics as of now so let's uh, start and the first question i got was from a yogendra he's asking uh, do you think that the first iphone in 2007 was uh, was really uh, he means did it change the future of smartphones yes I feel the first iPhone that was launched in 2007 has assured this era of new age smartphones. Prior to that, mostly, yes, we still had uh, touchscreen phones, but they were of the resistive kind. And many of the new powerful smartphones at that time were coming with stylus. So, yes, I feel uh, iPhone in 2007 actually changed a lot of things. Eventually, we might have got to that stage, but I frankly feel iPhone uh, 7. Uh, I, sorry, the iPhone, first iPhone in 2007 was a Kickstarter. Uh, let's uh, move to this question. This is from Pankaj. He's asking, is uh, Pixel worth the price Google is asking? Again, as I've uh, mentioned earlier also, uh, the Google Pixel is a very good Android phone, but it is a pricey phone and Google is definitely charging a premium. They're sort of charging a premium like what Apple does for the iPhone. So definitely expensive. Uh, this is by Prasen Jeet. He's asking best OIS camera phone within the price band of 20 to 30,000 is Snapdragon 650 ahead compared to the MediaTek Helios P15 that will be on the Moto M or the Xiaomi Mi 5C. Uh, regarding the uh, Helios P15, uh, I simply cannot comment as of now because I haven't actually tested any device with the Helios uh, P15. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's rumored that the Moto M might come with that one. Not very sure because there is also another variant uh, that comes with the Snapdragon. So I can only comment after testing that. Regarding the, your uh, first question, that is best uh, camera with OIS in the range of 20 to 30,000. Uh, I would say uh, up your budget by about 31 because last time I checked a month ago, the LG G4 was available for about 31,500. It has optical image stabilization and it has a fabulous camera. Uh, if you can't get that and you don't like the LG G4 because of the battery life, then I feel the Honor uh, 8, though it does not have any optical image stabilization, I feel in camera performance for the price that's around 29 or 30,000 what it is, it is the best camera performance as of now. But yeah, that does not have optical image stabilization. If you really need optical image stabilization, uh, then you can have a look at the new one plus uh, 3t i hope uh, this helps uh, this is by lakshmi nara and he's asking he says he has the asus zenfone 2 laser he says should i upgrade to the zenfone 3 or the moto g4 plus camera and ui is his priority he says i would say lakshmi nara if you already have the asus zenfone 2 i would not suggest you to upgrade to the zenfone 3 because of the price to performance ratio is simply not that great with the zenfone 3 in fact if you're just looking at the camera performance the moto g4 plus has a better camera than this one and as you are going up to the budget of zenfone 3 zenfone 3 is what for about twenty-seven thousand. instead of the zenfone 3 I would recommend you the Moto Z Play that's available for about 25,000 and I frankly feel that's a, a better device. Hope that helps. Uh, this is by Deepan Chan. He is asking, uh, is the OnePlus 3T 128 GB worth the price? Uh, the thing is that the 128 uh, GB variant of the OnePlus 3T in India is selling for about uh, 35,000 and uh, the 64 GB base variant is selling for uh, what was that 30,000 so there is a price difference of 5,000 rupees if we convert it into dollars that's almost uh, about 70 to 73 dollars so definitely yes oneplus is charging a sort of a premium because in us and other countries uh, the bump from uh, 64 GB to 128 uh, gigabyte variant is just $40. But yes, here they are charging about $70 to $72. So again, 
uh, I would say if you don't require that much storage, stick with the 64 uh, GB variant. That makes uh, more value for money pr proposition, I would say. Uh, this is by Tech Gadget YouTube. He says, does gimbal stabilize the video of mobile more than EIS or optical image stabilization? Yes, the gimbal will stabilize it better compared to EIS or OIS because generally with most of the gimbal, these are three axis gimbals. So the motors are there on three ends. Thus, it uh, not only stabilizes in just one direction, but in three ways. Thus, the footage that you see with gimbals, it looks like somebody is just gliding it around. So yeah, definitely gimbals help. This is by Mr. Chakravarti. He's asking, is the gaming performance of the OnePlus 3 better than the OnePlus 3T? I um, Just about two days ago, I posted the gaming uh, performance, gaming video that I did, gaming review with the OnePlus 3T. Though it ran most of the games fine, but particularly with Asphalt 8, I noticed uh, uh, drop frames and lag, and it was also heating up to 45 degrees Celsius. Uh, I, I don't want to jump to conclusions uh, very quickly. Uh, but looks like it's a software optimization if issue. Let's wait for OnePlus to release one more patch and see if that is solved. Because technically speaking, the OnePlus 3T has a slightly powerful processor and even a powerful GPU. So that Asphalt 8 lagging might be a software optimization issue. Uh, this is by Ritwik. He's asking, video editing, is it a CPU intensive task or a GPU intensive or all which is more necessary, CPU or GPU for editing? I would say first and foremost, you need a decently powerful CPU for video editing. Definitely, the, if you have even a powerful uh, GPU, it will help with certain effects. For example, if you are adding some 3D text or doing some fancy animation and stuff, in that aspect, the GPU will help. But uh, the CPU is actually the most important part. For example, uh, I'm using a MacBook uh, Pro 15 inch and the version that I'm using uh, does not have the dedicated uh, GPU. Still, I'm able to do my work because the uh, CPU is uh, pretty good. It's a core i7. So I would say first option if you are selecting is go for the uh, at least a core i5 or preferably a core i7 based the CPU then if you have the budget and options then you can add on with a graphic card if you are doing a lot of FX and stuff I hope that helps uh, this is by Mr. Patra he's asking uh, for daily usage priority what should be ideal Redmi 3s prime or Lenovo K6 power if we minus the camera I would say both these devices, the Redmi 3S Prime as well as the Lenovo K6 Power perform equally because they are having the Snapdragon 430 SoC. So it will come down to your personal preference. Do you like MIUI or uh, what uh, K6 Power is doing? Well, camera, as you have uh, told, you don't have a preference to the camera. But uh, the screen is slightly better on the Lenovo K6 Power because it's having a 1080p screen. Whereas the Redmi 3S Prime is having a 720p screen. But one area where I feel the Lenovo K6 power goes ahead is in terms of speaker. The speaker output on the Redmi 3S Prime was not that loud. That's not the case with the Lenovo K6 power as it's having dual speakers and also that Dolby Atmos support. So I hope uh, that helps you in deciding which is better. But one thing to note is that Redmi 3S Prime has the IR blaster functionality. That is, uh, it acts like a remote control if you want. That functionality is not there on the Lenovo K6 Power. Uh, this is from Sidey. She's asking, is the Lenovo K4 Note a very bad phone? I would say I personally would not recommend the Lenovo K4 Note as of now. If you really want a Lenovo device in that Note series, I would say the K5 Note is a far better device compared to the K4 Note. But again, if your budget is tight, I don't know what's the current pricing of the Lenovo K4 Note. If it's strictly regarding the pricing, then I would say go even with the Lenovo K6 Power, which is now available for rupees 10,000 that might be a, a better bet for you because in terms of battery life, it will be both the Lenovo K4 uh, Note and even the uh, K5 uh, Note. I hope it helps. Again, uh, just uh, two days uh, ago, I posted my review for the uh, Lenovo K6 Power. Check out that for detailed pros and cons. And this is by Amy. He's asking, will you be reviewing the LG V20 and has LG lost the market in India? Regarding uh, reviewing the LG V20, uh, I don't think so. I will be able to review the LG V20 and the reason is that LG India simply did not contact me or even send me a review unit. 
uh, I knew somebody in LG uh, earlier but that person has left and now nobody from LG uh, has contacted me and to be frank I don't feel like investing around 55,000 as of now to just do a review because though yes I feel the LG V20 might be a very good handset but the amount of inquiries that I got for that device is far less compared to other devices so if yes LG India would have sent me the uh, V20 review unit I would have loved to review it but sadly they haven't done the same and yeah in India specifically uh, the thing is that uh, I personally don't get a uh, lot of inquiries for LG uh, related smartphones uh, this is by Menak. he's asking my sister wants to buy the Galaxy S7 we have the budget is it worth to buy at 43,000 rupees also is the OnePlus 3T a better option uh, I would say uh, ask your sister is camera performance the highest priority for her uh, if that is the case go with the Galaxy S7 that has a better camera but again uh, if your, your uh, sister says that camera is not the highest priority then definitely you can save a lot more money and go with the OnePlus 3T in fact in terms of uh, UI interface and fluidity, I feel the OnePlus uh, 3 or even the OnePlus 3T are more fluid in operations compared to the Galaxy S7. Sometimes with the Galaxy S7, only sometimes I do notice that minor lag or the frame drops. That's simply not the case with the OnePlus 3 or the OnePlus 3T. In fact, I would say the OnePlus 3T is almost as smooth as the uh, Google Pixel uh, smartphone. Okay, let's move to the next one. This is by Saurav. He's asking, can you dismiss the HD notification for Volti in Pixel and the Pixel XL? Just yesterday that I updated my Pixel phone and yes, now Volti is supported out of the box. But yes, you are getting that uh, notification of a HD bar on the uh, notification tray. And if you swipe it up, as of now, it's simply not going. So it's sort of stuck. I didn't spend time to try to remove it. But yes, as of now, if you just try to swipe it off, it does not go. So that's there. Uh, this is by uh, Paul. He's asking, which was the flagship phone that disappointed you the most this year? Uh, if I have to pick one, I would say that might be the Sony Xperia XZ. Though on paper, Sony gets a lot of things right, but in the execution department, things were not that great, I would say. For even simple tasks, if you like changing the data between the sims and whatnot, it used to reboot. And uh, the sound output, though it was technically ha having dual speakers, the sound output was very low and a lot of other things. In fact, you should check Ash's video on the Sony Xperia XC. He has already posted his full in-depth uh, review. So my pick would be the Sony Xperia XC. Though on paper, it was great, but in execution, uh, Sony still has to work a lot. Uh, this is by Shorya, the last question he's asking, will the OnePlus 3T uh, get software update to solve the asphalt 8 optimization issue? If possible, please forward this to OnePlus India. I hope uh, uh, it gets solved because as I've already mentioned, looks like a software optimization issue because uh, with other games like Nova 3, uh, then we ran Implosion and uh, even uh, one more game and those Mortal Kombat X, those games ran fine without any lag but with Asphalt 8 the phone heated up till 45 degrees centigrade and also it was dropping frame. So let's see uh, when uh, OnePlus releases the next update I'll definitely retest the OnePlus 3D and see if the gaming performance has improved. So guys that's it for now for this uh, tech Q&A session and uh, next week onwards I should be back so it will be a regular Q&A session. So guys thanks for watching this video and if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel hit that subscribe button. Thank you. See you later guys. Bye.